What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and this will be a quick one, I promise. I have stumbled across something that I know a lot of other detailers and prosumers and hobbyists and everybody alike have probably known about for a long time, but you know, I'm new to this. They're called flarisols. If you ever see like an aerosol can, how it um, atomizes uh, liquids and you know, it does that under compression. So this does that just by the pull of a trigger so it, it's like incredible it will not stop doing it just does it forever and ever until probably when it breaks because these are pretty cheap on amazon i'm going to link them down below but i'm going to show you what it is um one i'm going to use as like an ipa uh just to try it out if all goes well i'm probably going to put my g on uh prep in one instead of an ipa this is what i was using it's not ideal, it is what it is, I have been using it, but I'm going to show you real quick, and then I'm going to show you what the bottle looks like on the inside, uh, filling it up, and then demonstrate more with the way it sprays water onto Old Reliable here. So, this is just a normal bottle, I'm going to spray it. See how it sounds like it's an aerosol? Now if I spray it and hold it for a second, it does this long freaking trigger pull. Let me show you. Watch my finger come off. That's crazy. Or if you could do a little bit. Just a little tiny burst. It's crazy. My garage smells like IPA now, but that's okay. It's a good smell. Let me just show you real quick. Let me just uh, learn you real quick. You just twist this off. Simple, simple. And it's got this. So there's just something about it where how it sucks up fluid based on the pull. And I guess there's some kind of compression solenoid type setup here. This sucks up the fluid. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to fill this with water. Now, these come in different uh, setups. They have clear ones. They have. I think there was a red one. Different colors. I went with black because I like the color black. So you're just going to throw that on there. And... Simply twist until it locks in. Now, this is starting from completely dead, right? One, two, three. Now I feel it really pressurizing. Four, there it is. Now, like I said, you could gentle. You can do like a gentle squirt, and it's just doing, it's doing a little bit of that, but you could press and you can, you can floor it like you're trying to go for a zero to 60 time and you can go and then let go. But you see how it, it doesn't matter if you do it real quick and let go or if you press and hold it it's going to be the same i think it's however much pressure you put on it it pushes the plunger down or whatever's in there i don't want to assume things and then it goes up so that's how it does that i guess i have no problem uh spraying distilled water on my clean hood anyway but i'm going to show you what it would look like you see a very fine mist, very fine um, mist of water. Now if I sprayed, like say I'm, you know, uh, doing a panel wipe down, I can do control it here, control it here, or I can just go, you know, it's like, I can do something like that. Ooh, look at this, nice beads, baby, nice beads. But um, I, I like the way it sounds. I like the idea behind it. I like thinking that like, you could take this and, you know, give it a, a little once over and know that you've atomized the water onto the uh, surface. Whatever it is that you're actually wanting to spray off. Now, don't worry. My vehicle was clean before I did this. Uh, I had wiped it down as soon as I got home and I wiped it down again before filming this because I'm not that schmuck that does this otherwise it would be loaded with swirls which I am not so I figured this was something to show you I'll link this down below all you have to do is type in the flarisol uh, word um, in hindsight black probably wasn't 
the best idea. I'm probably gonna order another one now that I know, but I think it was like seven bucks, something like that. I think totally worth it. I'm gonna get one with a clear uh, handle so I can see what in the hell is down there and what's left, but totally worth it. Um, I see for sure a necessity and uh, something something totally relevant to my process, having IPA or like I said, Geon Prep. I have uh, CarPro, these, these panel wipe products that are um, meant to make sure your surface is um, not littered with, uh, to make sure your surface is actually pure, ready for coating or wax or uh, whatever, or just to check and see what you're doing. Make sure there's no fillers in it. You're getting a true idea of the actual level of correction that you're doing during a paint correction. Anyway, that's all we have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you are an OCD OG, thank you so much for stopping by yet again. As always, I truly appreciate the support. I hope everybody's staying happy, healthy, and humble. I'll see you guys on the next one.